Welcome to our pour and sip session. So what we're doing is our paint pours and sip. So we're going to have a little bit of a drink while we do it. A bit of a fun activity. So basically these are just some examples. Every paint pour will come out totally different. Something easy if you don't have any artistic skill at all. Anybody can produce some amazing artwork. So this is where this is a great activity, uh, especially if you don't think you're very good at doing a painting. So, uh, and what I normally do for this is grab some canvases that you might not, um, might be another painting or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually do, going to do some paint pours on top of some paintings. Like these are just extra paintings that I've got, which I don't want anymore. So I'm gonna turn them into paint pours. Um, I've got a lot of nearly empty paint bottles. So basically this is the best way to use them up. Um, and I use this flow, which is basically uh, it's flow medium. You can buy just a small bottle and put it like this for like $5, to $10 to put in the size bottle. And then this is a bind I always use because I use a lot more water in my mixes and I just find this with water. Other than that, with the paint pour, you've got the wine and your drink. So what we'll do is we'll just get started anyway and I'll get started on actually the wine and then we'll um, do some, I'll show you actually how to mix the paint pours. So it's like most of this involved is actually making the paints up, the paint pour and then we will start pouring it. Okay, so make sure you've got a bottle of wine to store and it's meant to drink on the like champagne and get the start, party started. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, so. Awesome. Okay, so we'll uh, cheers to that. Now everyone's probably got these at the moment, gloves. So it's always handy to use some gloves because otherwise you will get paint on your hands. So it is a little bit messy. So I'll go double gloves. Normally I'll try and keep this as a clean hand, so I use it for my drink, or <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is start with mixing the paints for these sessions. I normally just use some plastic cups, and then in my Aussie bucket of water is actually Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, say this is my blue I wanna use up. So I'm just going to actually, still got a fair bit of blue in there, but I'll use it all up. So I'm actually just gonna put a fair bit of water in here. Close the lid up and give it a shake. So this is, yeah, a great way just to use up. And then going to pull it out. It's actually quite a good consistency. So before I throw this bottle, put a little bit more water in there and just give it one more final shake out, like cleaning out your and cooking and a little bit of water and just use the last ingredients. So then that'll be... Before I throw out the bottle, I'll keep it so if I don't use all the paint, I can waste put this in back in. Okay, so from there I normally use a stirring spoon And just sort of check out my consistency. Could maybe have a little bit more 
paint in there. So that's where I will just use another bottle of paint. And just fill up that consistency. Because my cup's a little bit full, just gonna pour say half into there. Okay, so this is where we use our flow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a fair bit of this binder in this big bottle. So yeah, I'll just use this jar because obviously I just use it as a mixing jar. Fix that up. And so then I'll put some flow into that. And I've already prepared some white here. Let's so put some flow into that. Grab my spoon. Now that has actually will change the colour, so it's actually lightened my colour off a fair bit. This is still pretty runny, so I could even increase the consistency by putting some more paint into it. And same with that one there. Okay, but what we'll do is we'll just run with that sort of consistency for now. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to sip. So I've just been pre-made some different colours. I haven't actually worked out my colours too much here. It's gone for yellow, a green, a red, and then some black. All those colours should work together. Now this is where you can recycle some of your canvases. I've just used a plastic bag here. So you can just use any sort of plastic really just so you don't make too much of a mess. Um, plastic cups, which I just normally recycle. So what I'm gonna do is start off with, I know it's a wonderful painting, but it's time to turn old into new. So what I'm gonna do, now actually, let's use another technique here. This is normally a favourite technique of a lot of paint pourers where let's go from dark to light. So basically we pour different colours into one cup. So I've got the black. I've got... Actually I meant to do it like this. It's like making a... Uh, Okay, that might work a little bit better. Uh, like a cocktail.
normal rule is don't add black to anything because everything will turn black. Okay, so voila, that is our new painting. So, as you can see, it's not that hard it's just to turn an old painting into a new painting. And I've just used up some paints that I had le left laying around. That's going to dry really glossy, just like that. So, um, if that flow, you know, it's going to go very glossy. Okay, and so that one is a wrap. Cheers. Cheers. So paint and pour, I've got, grabbed another canvas, which I will do another pour over. I'll grab some different colors, do the same sort of technique. Maybe not with the green, maybe not with the black. So I'll just use
the biggest one I've yet to do, so it must be fun. Let's have a little bit of a drink first. Okay, so on this paint pour, I'm gonna need a lot of paint. So what we need to do is use a few cups. Let's go for three cups. Now, we'll start with our darker colours on the bottom. So we'll start with blue on the bottom.
is a wrap for our paint and session. paint and sip. I'll show you everything you need to get started. First of all you'll need a brush, just one brush will be fine, just a small one. Then you just need a paint set. So I've just got a basic water colour set which I bought from Kmart. That's all you need. It was like five dollars. I've got a, a scrapbook of paper, so any paper will be fine. It'll absorb the water and I mean go a little bit wobbly but it'll be fine, it'll flatten out. But it take just to tape and mask the outside, so we just use a bit of tape for that. A couple of cups of water, and then more importantly, we've got the, uh, the wine. So that's everything you need for a paint and sip, it's very basic. So I'm doing this one at home today, and then I'll go outside and do some outside as well.